Welcome back. I'm Bill Griffith. In this demo, I'm going to show you how to install the TJBot libraries uh, since we have uh, bootstrapped our TJBot and installed uh, Raspberry Pi in a headless fashion. Uh, now we have an operating system uh, with Wi-Fi configured so we can talk to the Watson uh, services uh, that live in IBM Cloud. So let's do that now. So here's my network. I'm going to SSH, which is secure shell over to the user pi at the IP address 192.168.1.19. Enter my new password that I reset for security purposes. And then, uh, as you see in the, um, the Word doc, I can run the curl command SL. HTTP slash slash bit, uh, sorry, IBM dot is tjbot dash bootstrap. That's going to be the download, and then I'm going to pipe it to sh to install. So, would I like <coughs> to use this Raspberry Pi? Let's do yes. Enter the host name. I hit enter. Use the default. Disable IPv6. Hit enter. Enable Google DNS, sure. Locale, force locale to English, US English, sure. Proceed with app get upgrade, hit enter because the Y is default. <clears throat> so after about uh, 10 minutes, you get to prompt here, make sure what this is. Hit an enter. And quit or Q. <clears throat> I guess that was a read, uh, read the information, and maybe through a less or more command. Okay, so <clears throat> now since I started with Noobs 2.1, it's a little old. Uh, this has taken a long time, about 20 some odd minutes, uh, because it had to update all the. Uh, operating system in Python and all kinds of libraries. Would you like to install newer Node.js? Sure. Which version? Seven. All right. Camera. Yes. Enable the camera. <clears throat> Where would you like to clone the TJ Bro? <laughs> Finally, TJ bot stuff. Everything else has been the operating system and Linux. So desktop TJ bot, sure. So since I'm using the USB uh, speaker, then I do not need to disable. Finally complete. Sign up for Bluemix, how to get connected, and we'll do that next. And now, do we want to run hardware test? No, we'll do that manually. And would I like to reboot? Sure. And so now it's rebooting, and once uh, that is done, I can connect to it and run the hardware test. So welcome back. Uh, so my Raspberry Pi <coughs> has rebooted. I've installed the TJ, um, TJ Bot libraries, and now I'm going to connect back in uh, to my Raspberry Pi with the new libraries and the updated Linux uh, environment. <clears throat> and the first thing I want to do is run some hardware tests uh, so you can see um, that I have a desktop directory. In here is a TJ Bot uh, library. There's bootstraps. <clears throat> And uh, you can see the README about the hardware tests. And um, you can run them all together using run test. But I'm going to run them one at a time. And you see the commands here on how they're actually run individually. Uh, but to do that, I'm going to install these first with npm uh, install. And what am I going to install? My home directory, desktop, hit tab. Uh, TJ tab, boot tab, test tab, and then let that install.
<clears throat> All right, so uh, library tests are installed, uh, configured to uh, point to um, Watson, and I'll go to the desktop, cd tjbot, cd uh, bootstrap, cd tests, and now I'm just going to run these manually with sudo uh, node, which is the runtime. Um, JavaScript runtime, and let's do the camera first. So it's taking a picture with the uh, camera of the Raspberry Pi, and it will store it on the file system, and then verify that it's there. <clears throat> okay, so when I run the sudo node test.led.js it is not changing the right colors so I get this so what I need to do is copy this blacklist tj blacklist to etsy mod probe d so let's do that now the way I do that is sudo cp tj tab etc mod p tab hit enter and I need to update the in-memory database sudo update dash init ram fs dash u and now reboot so here's my uh, command did it turn red Yes, it did. So I'm gonna hit yes and hit enter. Turn green, not really. Turn blue, yes. Orange, yes. And did it turn off, yes. So you'll see that uh, sometimes the colors aren't exactly right. Um, not sure if that's the test code uh, or some uh, setting in there, but uh, sometimes it works correctly, sometimes it doesn't. Uh, but using the recipe, it seems to work uh, more accurately, so I'm not sure with the test. But uh, anyway, there it is. Okay, so now let's test the servo, which is the arm. You see the command, sudo node test servo.js. Here's the Raspberry Pi, and let's run it. Yep, I'm gonna move backwards. Yep, raised. Forward, yep. And it waved. Yes. So the servo works. All right, let's move on to the next test. All right, let's try the speaker test. Front, center. Cool. Heard that? Cool. So uh, all the tests work. Uh, let's go back and just run all of them at once. Uh, not necessary, but uh, I like to do them one at a time so you can verify the hardware is working. Uh, and then we'll move on to a recipe that will uh, verify um, that I'll actually do something cool with the robot. So stay tuned. Thanks.